A ball with a mass of 250 grams is twirled in a vertical path of radius 50 centimeters at a constant speed of three revolutions per second. Calculate the tension in the string at the top, bottom, and side of the loop. Well, the first thing we need to do is we're going to have to make some conversions here. This right here, well, that's going to be 0 0.250 kilograms. Um, the radius, um, that's going to be 0 0.50 meters. And now for the three revolutions per second, we're going to have to convert that to meters per second. So we know that um, th we have three revolutions per second, and we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi r. So if we multiply this by that relationship, uh, 2 pi r is one revolution, the revolutions will cancel, and we will be left with meters per second in the end. So let's proceed to do that. So we have 3 times 2 pi r, 0.5, divided by 1. So this is going to end up being 9.42 meters per second. So that's the velocity in linear terms. Okay, so now let's proceed with answering the question. Um, we're going to do the top, the bottom, and the side. Well, I'm going to skip and leave the top for the end. Let's do the bottom first of all. So bottom, uh, we need to draw a free body diagram. So we have at the bottom, we have a string which is pulling upward. So that would be tension FT. Gravity is pulling downward, that would be mg, and it's in a circle, so I'm just going to draw this little circle right here to indicate that the positive direction is towards the center of the circle. So ft points in the positive direction, mg in the negative direction. So we know that fc is going to be the sum of these two forces, so fc will be f t minus mg. So that applies to the bottom of the circle. So I can write out Newton's second law now. So fc is equal to mac. fc is ft minus mg. ft minus mg is equal to mv squared over r. So ft will be equal to mv squared over r my plus mg. So I'll continue over here on the right. So ft is going to be equal to the mass, which is 0 0.250 zero, times g, which is not, uh, sorry, times v, right, v squared. Uh, which is oh, 9.42 squared divided by r, which is 0.5. And we're going to add mg to that, which is 0 0.250 times 9.81. So ft, well, this portion right here works out to 44, and this portion here works out to 2.45. Um, so when you add this up, let's round to the whole number. Ft is going to be equal to uh, 46, 46.45. Let, let's just call that 46, 46 newtons. Okay. So that's what happens at the bottom of the circle. That's the tension in the string right there in that position. Now if we're on the side, and the side could be right here, so that's a side, uh, or this side right here, 
okay? So like the three o'clock or nine o'clock position of the circle. Um, we draw the free body diagram. So here we are. And we have MG pointing down and we have now the string pointing like that towards the center. Remember, this is the center of the circle right there. So this is the positive direction and this would be the tension, right? The string is pointing towards the center at all times. So here we see that MG actually isn't even a factor um, when we're looking at FC because FC it, um, are all the forces that are in line with the center. So when we were looking at the bottom, at the bottom, the object had mg facing down and the tension facing up. So that's why we had to deal with both of them. But when you're in the side, you only have the tension acting towards the center of the circle, uh, uh, towards or away from the center of the circle. So fc here is only equal to ft. So we do the same thing as we did before. We have uh, FC is equal to MAC. In this case, we have the tension is equal to MV squared over R. So the tension is equal to 0 0.250 times the, uh, the mass times the uh, velocity, 9.42, square that, divided by the radius, 0.50, and FT works out to 44 Newtons, which is what we got right here, right? At the bottom, FT and MG were both important. Here, only FT is acting, so FT is 44 Newtons, and that's the answer. So now let's look at the top. Okay, so when we draw the free body diagram at the top, um, we have two forces. We have MG pointing towards the center of the circle, like that. And we have FT also pointing towards the circle, towards the center of the circle. So that means these two forces, we add them up. We have FC is equal to mg plus ft like that okay um, notice when we're at the bottom of the circle it's ft minus mg when we are at the side of the circle it's only ft that comes into play and at the top it's mg plus ft I'm going to let you finish this calculation, but I will give you the answer, uh, the answer to the problem. Is equal to 42 Newtons. See if you can get that on your own.